stabilized. Proceed. Fingerprint found. One matching profile. Jasper Prado. Hey, hear me out, please. Just, just hear me out. What do you want? You're here for Jasper, yeah? They've got him back there. And why are you here? They locked me up because I was helping him out, but I only did it out of fear, I swear. I've seen him kill people Much just fun. for disagreeing Turned with him. Porter. Please, please, if you leave me here, they'll kill me. I owe you my life. They're keeping him just around the corner. Good luck. What the hell? Still no memory of Jasper. Found his phone, though. He brought me out, Red. There's no pain. I, I can think this time. 
Red, did you see that? We've got a name and a place. Rose and a mansion. Red. Red? Are you there? Red! Red, hey, were you watching? Who's Rose? And where is this mansion? Red! We still haven't finished our investigation into this... Jasper business, Mr. Black. What do you mean, haven't finished? We've got a name, a place. Jasper's dead. We need to... I will say what we need to do, Black. You are here at my convenience, and you wear... My technology. Do not fucking trust me! Nobody crosses me. Okay. Okay, fine. Then what do I do? Red, I said what do I do? Oh, never mind. I'll just proceed, shall I? Listen, it's me. You need to tell me where the fuck you are and what the fuck is going on. You've got a lot to answer for, you know that. Call me back the second you get this or there'll be consequences. Why did you do that? What? Well, why did you paint your prosthetic leg black? It's depressing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, and I was hoping you're cured. I am cured. Your leg was sick, remember? That's why I had to cut it off. I know you loved it, but sometimes we have to let go of the things we love the most. Hmm? How's the other leg? She's fine. A bit sad, maybe. Her sister was amputated. They were twins. Mm, I see. So maybe they should be together. Yeah, all right, I'll think about it.
Vidit, Vidit, Vidit. I doomed us all. One left to spread the word of Caesar. All is away. He will come and see and conquer again. My liege, you are here. I knew you would come ever since that day at ADS. You let me live, remember? And now I know why. Pass me that crowbar. Let me out, my Caesar. Red's done a number on you, too. Here, take this. Go. Praise you, my Caesar. This world is yours. It always was. Sure that wasn't there. Red, how are you doing this? I'm not, Mr. Black. You are. An imprecision of the technology. Sometimes, Sometimes the Pandora will overlay images onto reality. I don't understand. You don't need to. You're in very real... What the fuck? How is that even possible? that all anomalies have now been dealt with from my end for now i'm getting tired of temperamental we are dealing with a prototype mr black view it as fascinating not tiring yeah easy for you to say you're not the one getting shot Like I said, Mr. Black, all actions, actions have consequences. You set a lunatic on the loose and just look what happened. Poor Mr. Keating died because of your decisions.
Match found. John Keating, a teacher it reported missing in 2011. Like I said, Mr. Black, all actions, actions have consequences. You set a lunatic on the loose, and just look what happened. Poor Mr. Keating died because of your decisions.
Like I said, Mr. Black, all oh, actions have consequences. You set a lunatic on the loose and just Something look what happened. with the electricity. Poor Mr. Keating died because of your decisions. I was so free. Maybe I'll make it to the party after. I need to fix this. I will not accept what happened to my daughter. Nor will I live with a wife who holds me responsible. I will find whoever did this. So Lenore will see the truth. So she will forgive me. And so things can go back to the way they were before all this. dead in his cell this morning. His cellmate found out that Jared was an informer and killed him. Don't hesitate to give me a call if you require any more details of this unfortunate event.
I've changed her four times in the last three hours. She will not stop. Please, can you take her? I need to lie down for a moment. Well, sure, but I thought we agreed to do this together. I just need to lie down. I've got a PhD in neuroscience. I think I can manage it. Come on, don't be like that. Says they slept like a baby, clearly never had one. Hi, Mum. Lenore and I were wondering if you wanted. What? It's me, your son. Uh, calm down, Mum. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes, that's right. Are you okay? Right. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. So. Oh, look, she's trying to talk to you. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent garbling. What on earth is she doing? So the doctor said that Mum can't distinguish between the past and the present. It's all jumbled together somehow. How can a person forget so much? Why can't they help her remember? for one second alone with my thoughts. One goddamn second. She wanted to know why I wasn't in school. The next, she was crying and complaining about her son, who never comes to visit. You were there every day. Whether she remembered or not, you were there for her. How can a person just forget? I should have helped her remember somehow. I should have found a way. You did everything you could. She loved you very much. Remember that. Mom, why is Daddy so sad? He's worried about your gran, my love. He's just worried, that's all. Rose Atkins. I really don't see why you hired this one. 
She doesn't ever seem to know where you are. She won't put you on the phone. She's a good assistant, Lenore. Huge potential. Give her time. I'm sure you'll warm to her. Just keep an eye on her, will you? I don't trust her. Grace said you promised to help with her science homework. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm just... C can you help her tonight? Do you mind? Fine. I've got this presentation first thing in the morning. I really feel like I'm on the verge of something here. This would mean so much for us, for the family. You understand, don't you? Maybe we should ask Rose Atkins when he'll be home. Maybe she'll even set up an appointment for us. You don't like her. I don't trust her. You don't trust her? <sighs> you don't trust Dad. Robert, listen. I don't care. You have Grace, and because of that, you have Lenore. But you also have me. And I'm not going anywhere. It won't be long before Grace is old enough to leave home. Until then, there's you and me and the work. For now, that's all that matters. I love you. Who those memories belong to is entirely irrelevant. They do not contain the answers we're looking for. Trust me. I'm only withholding information that is irrelevant and distracting, Mr. Black. Please, let's proceed. Fine. Let's move on. 